Do we want to get right? So we're going to continue with our recordings of Revit Architecture 2011 and go over some more of the features that uh, have been included into Revit Architecture 2011. So let's go ahead and pull, uh, pull it up. And while we're waiting for that to come up, I'll um, tell you that uh, some of the processes in Revit Architecture 2011 have been changed to a multi-threaded process. And what that means is that um, things will be able to be done uh, quite a bit faster. Um, first and foremost, the uh, execution of the software, the pulling up of the software, is now a multi-threaded process. So you can probably see that as the, um, the software pulled up there. Also, opening of existing projects is now multi-threaded. Uh, saved to central is uh, multi-thread as well as uh, synchronization with uh, with uh, central. The central file is uh, also multi-threaded, so overall process is going to be uh, a little bit more faster. So let's go ahead and start a brand new project here. All right, so we'll go over some uh, some general. Uh, interface changes that have been made in Revit Architecture 2011. Uh, again, the properties palette is over here, and it's a you know, like I said before, it's a modeless, uh, modeless command that runs over here, and it's always up. Um, we can close it, we can uh, pull it off screen, we can throw it off on another screen if we had another monitor. Um, we'll just go over some some of these tabs here. Um, the home tab is uh, virtually the same, not very much change there. Uh, the insert tab uh, again relatively the same the annotate tab not much change there um, the structure tab if you were a uh, Autodesk subscription customer then you got this uh, addition of the structure tab um, about mid-year um, and that has been integrated into the into the main Revit Architecture 2011 product so you'll have that new the massing and site tab um, a little bit different but not very much um, or on the collaborate tab they've shifted around the coordinate the coordinate uh, tools a little bit over on the view tab uh, not a whole lot's been different but there is a new uh, tool under the user interface if we flip down here then we've got a, a new uh, command called keyboard shortcuts and we can go in here and basically plug uh, any two uh, keyboard strokes to a particular command so let's say that we wanted a wall opening we could go in here and uh, type WO and then assign, and that would immediately become effective. Anytime we typed in WO, then wall opening would be the, uh, the current command. So continuing looking through this over on the Manage tab, a um, little bit of change here, not a whole lot. Underneath additional settings, we see some new things under here, analysis, display styles, uh, sun settings, some new stuff in there. Over on the Modify tab, uh, again, not a whole lot's really changed on that. So let me draw a couple walls here and get a couple commands in my history, so to speak. So let's throw a door in, let's throw a window in. And one thing I want to point out is that uh, if we right click, there's now uh, recent, uh, there's recent commands here, but then also there's repeat windows, so like you repeat last command, uh, kind of like you would find in AutoCAD and AutoCAD architecture. Um, under the recent commands pull out, we'll see that uh, as commands are ran, um, this list will populate uh, with um, you know a general number of, of how many uh, you know uh, the last commands we were ran. Um, so that's basically it for this video. Um, we'll hope that you'll uh, you'll stop by um, our YouTube site, Render Your World, and then also uh, feel free to stop by the Facebook page, All Things Rabbit.